Hi, I'm Power Monkey, and in this tutorial video, I will be teaching you how to create this key card right here, and then you can use this proximity prompt. And then once you've done it, then the door will open if the player has a key card. So if we go ahead and try without the key card, as you can see, it goes red. And then if we try again, it will keep going red. So now that we've equipped our key card, if we try, the door will open. So if you would like to know how to make this epic sliding door with a key card and a sensor over here for your key card, well then you're going to want to stay tuned until the end of the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to create our key card. So we're going to want to add a tool inside the workspace. And then we're going to add a part so that this is going to be our tool and we're just going to make a quick little key card. So I'm going to change the scale to 0.1 and then I'm just going to scale it. And then let's actually bring the dummy here so that we can see the size that we want the key card to be. So maybe a, li a little bit like this and then we can go ahead and make this a little bit smaller because I'm going to give this key card rounded edges so I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down to the properties into the shape and do cylinder and then if I go ahead and bring it over here and then rotate it and then put it over here there we go now our key card has rounded edges So it's just a nice small little detail and then I'm going to duplicate this and make a stripe for our key card. And then I'm going to change this by 0.05. Maybe that's still a little bit too thick. Maybe we can do 0 0.01. Maybe just do it a little bit like this and on the sides as well. And change it back to 0.1 and then let's go ahead so I've accidentally created two tools, so I'm just going to put these two parts inside this tool right here. And then I'm going to select all these parts and I'm going to union them. So I'm going to do Command Shift G to create a union. And I'm going to do Use Part Color. And then let's do Smooth Plastic. And then you can change the color. Whoops. Smooth Plastic. There we go. And then you can change the color to whatever you want. So let's do a blue key card. And let's do smooth plastic and then you can change this to maybe a black maybe something like this for our key card all right so this is our key card so we're going to want to name this key card and then we're going to create a door so like that the player can use the key card on the door so let's go ahead and move this player right here and let's create another model and then let's rename this model door and then let's go ahead and add a part whoops that's not a part there we go add a part over here and then create a frame for our door maybe it's something like this let's put our dummy here And then maybe over here. So there we go. So I'm going to select all these parts by doing Command and Alt to select all the parts inside the model. And I'm going to do Alt A to anchor all the parts inside the model. I'm going to duplicate these parts. And then I'm going to make this smaller. And then we can have our door right here. So we're going to want to make the door slide. So if you haven't watched my tutorial on how to make a sliding door, I recommend you go watch that video and then come back to this video. If not, let's just carry on with making this door right here. So then we're just going to duplicate it and do something like this maybe. And then do point 0.1 
like that. And then let's change this to metal. And then let's do diamond plate here. And then let's do metal over here. So this is going to be our door. There we go, change the colors a little bit. So now let me create a wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and create another part and just call this wall and then change it into a wall. So let's just have something like this maybe. And let's just change it to plastic. Over here, like this. So there we go, this is going to be our door. We can go ahead and remove the dummy now. We're going to want to create a little thing that the player can slide their keycard on. So let's go ahead and create another model inside this door. And let's call this, let's just call it sensor. And let's add a part. And let's, where is the part? There it is. I'm going to Alt A to anchor it. And then Alt to move it. So let's go ahead and do it like this. Just really quickly. Maybe something like that where the player can then slide their card and then we can have a little light to display whether or not their key card works. So there we go, and then we're going to create another hole right here. So let's do this and then negate the part. Select this part here and duplicate it and negate it. And select all these parts and do Command Shift G to union them. And then we're going to call this light. And then we can just call this slider. And let's change this to smooth plastic and let's make it really black. And let's change this material to neon for the light. And then let's leave it at neon orange. And then let's change this to metal. There we go. We can go ahead and call this frame. This is our door model that we made really quickly with our key card right here. So we're going to want to add a proximity prompt inside this sensor. So let's do proximity prompt and then let's go ahead and change the action text to slide key card and then we can maybe do a capital K and then let's go ahead and change the object text to door and then we're going to keep the key code to E and we can leave the max activation distance as it is. And then you can toggle requires lines off site on or off. I'm going to keep it on. So let's go ahead and create a model for these two parts. And let's go ahead and call this door. So let's change this to door package. And then let's go ahead and make this the frame. And then let's call this border. And then let's add a weld constraint to our frame. And then unanchor the border so like that we can weld constraint this frame to the border. So like that the border will be stuck to the frame when we tween it. So let's go ahead and add a script inside this door package. So let's add a server script. And we're going to want to do local package script.parent so that the door package is our package. And then we're going to create another variable for our door and our sensor. So we're going to do local door equals package dot door. And then we're going to do local sensor equals package dot sensor. Whoops, dot sensor. So we're also going to want to get the proximity prompt service and we're going to want to get the tweening service. So we're going to do local tween service. 
equals game get service I'm going to do tween service and then we we'll do local proximity prompt service equals game get service and we'll do proximity prompt service so for our sensor we're going to want to add a hold duration so let's do three seconds so that the player has to hold it for three seconds before it opens the door if they have the key card so first let's actually duplicate this because we want them to be able to open this door from both sides not just this side so let's go ahead and put it over here so let's go back into our script and let's do proximity prompt service dot prompt and then we're going to do prompt triggered and then we're going to do connect and we're going to connect this to function and we're going to do prompt for our parameter and then we also have the player who triggered the prompt so so let's actually remove this variable from the sensor and we're going to want to use it later on in here instead of over here so first let's go ahead into our sensor and let's rename this proximity prompt to let's call this key card door so we're going to do if prompt dot name equals key card door then all right so let's actually delete this right here because we don't need it we're going to put it into this bit of code right here so we're going to do local sensor equals prompt dot parent we can then we're going to do local door equals sensor dot parent and then we're going to do dot door so like that we are basically doing sensor dot parent which is the door package and then dot door which is the door right here so let's go ahead and sign the primary part of this door to the frame and then we're going to do if player dot character so that we're getting the character of the player and then we're going to do find first child key card so that we're checking if the player has the key card inside their character model and then we're going to do then and we're going to do sensor dot light because we're going to want to change the light to flash green so that we are opening the door for the player so we're going to do sensor dot light dot color equals so let's do brick color dot new and then let's see what brick color we want to get so maybe we could do lime green so let's do lime green in parentheses and then let's go ahead and open the door for the player with the key card so let's do local door tween equals tween service create and then we're going to do door and we're going to want to create our tween information over here so let's do local tween info dot new and then we're going to let's do one second to open the door and then we're going to do enum dot easing style dot linear and let's do enum dot easing direction dot in and then we can do zero false zero because we don't want it to repeat and we don't want it to reverse and we don't really need the delay time so let's do tween info over here because that is the tween info we just created over there and then let's do our property table so let's do position and then we're going to do equals and then let's go ahead and create an attribute for this door so let's go ahead and do attribute and we're going to do a vector 3 value and we're going to call this attribute close pause and then we're going to want to get the position so go to the transform property and then let's go and copy this position and paste it in here and then let's create another attribute and do the vector 3 again and let's call this open pause so let's go ahead and open this so maybe we'll open it up to here so let's get this position right here command z to put it back in its position and then let's change the open pause right here so let's do position equals door dot primary part get attribute and then we're going to want to get the this attribute right here we're going to get the open pause so we're going to do open pause so that is returning this vector 3 value over here 
So let's actually do door dot primary part for our instance, and then let's do door tween, and let's actually call this door open tween, and let's do door open tween, and we're going to do play, and then we're going to do wait maybe three seconds, and then we're going to want to close our door again. So let's do local door close tween equals tween service, then we we'll do create. And let's do door dot primary part. Then we'll do tween info. And then we're going to do the position equals door dot primary part. And we'll do get attribute. And we're going to do close pause instead of open pause. So let's go ahead and check there's no typos. I don't think there are. So let's go ahead and play this tween. So let's do door close tween. And we're going to do play. So like that, the door will be closed and then we can change our sensor back to neon orange. So let's do sensor.light.color equals brick color dot new. And then we're going to do neon orange. Okay, so this is good for when the player has the key card, but if the player doesn't have the key card, so player.character find for a child key card. So if not, we're going to do else. And then we're going to do sensor dot light dot color equals brick color dot new. And we're going to do really red. And then we're going to do maybe wait one second. And then do sensor dot light dot color equals brick color dot new. And we're going to do back to neon orange. So to give the player the key card, you can either just leave it on the floor and they can pick it up. Or you can go ahead and place this key card into the starter pack so that every player will get a key card when they join the game. So let's actually make this wall a little bit taller to hide the door when it opens. But obviously you could have your door slide to the left, to the right, down, however you want it to be. We're also going to want to go into our sensor and assign the primary part so that the proximity prompt knows where to show. So we're going to do frame for both of these. There we go. So that, that is where the proximity prompt will show. So in our key card, we're actually going to want to... So let me just bring this out of... So let's do parent.workspace. And let's actually go back into the key card. And we're going to want to create a handle for our key card. So let's call this handle. Whoops. Let's do handle like this and let's see how it looks on the player. All right, and we're also going to want to create a world constraint for this handle. So let's do world constraint. Let's do part zero is handle and part one is this part right here. Let's just call this stripe. And let's go ahead and unanchor this. So let's go down. So it's already unanchored. So that is good. So let's go ahead and change this to brick color. Unless if you're using color three values. So let's just change this to brick color. And let's try again. So let's actually leave our key card here. So that we can just pick it up from the floor. There we go. Okay, it works. Okay. And then if we hold our key card and we open it. There we go. And then if we put our key card away and we try again, then you see it will not let us go through. So that is how you make a key card door for your game. So if you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And you can click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.